Naveed Shahid cleared PMP with all about target. And why Naveed and I are laughing? There's a very funny reason for this. So yesterday when Naveed cleared uh, the PMP exam, he shared me the same thing. He shared me the same thing, the my voice. And let me just put it for everyone to listen this uh, this thing. <laughs> Uh, so what a what a mimic it was. I just love it. I just love it that uh, it's just uh, marvelous to see this thing, how these things have turned out. So Navid, you have seen the journeys, you know the journeys. The purpose of these journeys is to share your experience with the PMP as parent, yeah. and it's your journey. It's your way. It's your lesson learned. Everything is about you. So I basically I say that today you are So you know that groom or you are a how do you feel? So you are on you. Whatever you share, share it. Whatever you want to share, share it. Whatever you want to omit, you can omit it. Please go ahead. Sir, sir thank you. Sir, first of all, thanks to Allah. Just say it now honor the I cleared PMP with all about target yesterday. And uh, uh, thanks to you as well. For my inshallah detail may be uh, as far as my journey is concerned, uh, it started back in 2017. Uh, I work in a PMO group in the EPC constructing uh, construction company. So it was also my uh, job requirement as well as well as my personal learning experience, I wanted to do uh, to be PMP certified. Uh, so I opted an uh, uh, organization, I would say, uh, in 2017 for uh, PMP PDUs and training. But after that training, I'm not gonna name names here. Uh, but after the training, I felt it so extremely based on book and very bookish and was just a Punjabi so, so it was like that. It bored me to death. And uh, then I uh, got engaged in other activities and some other projects. So I couldn't give properly uh, my many times time with it. And uh, recently I came across uh, a friend of mine told me about it, about you and your YouTube channel. I searched for it and I just love the way you uh, express all the ideas and especially the journey videos videos and after uh, reviewing some uh, coaching calls uh, i was able to do it and alhamdulillah yesterday as you <laughs> as you said with all about target <laughs> okay okay so how you you give exam in karachi right yeah, because uh, for work, I run, uh, nowadays I am in Karachi. In center or in home? In center. In center. In center. In center. Where, in which center? Because I have many students from Karachi and the last time. Sir, I, I, live in, I live in DHA uh, nowadays. So there is one nearby in Bukhari Commercial Center. GNS Education, you might have known about it. Okay. So Bukhari, uh, that center was good because I always look in... I'm always looking for recommendation for good centers. Yeah, it was it was pretty well managed and a good center. And uh, yesterday, luckily, there was only myself giving exam, so there was it was extra peaceful. Right. That, that's a, that's a good thing that it was peaceful. Okay, okay. Let's talk further about that. How did you manage your time? Uh, actually. Uh, for first 60 questions, uh, it was more difficult than I anticipated. And uh, I gave it uh, like 70, 75 to 80 minutes to it. And by the time first 60 questions were finished, I left with, I think, 154 minutes to spare. And uh, then I took 10 minutes break, ate something and uh, resumed the test. And second portion was pretty easy, I would say. It's not that difficult than uh, comparing to the first 60 questions, but it was mixed, not like uh, people do main say, I am bad, and then like say, it was kind of like PMP, it's fixed, it's fixed, you don't like, it's not 
I would say long questions and uh, mostly there was two three liners or some of those were even four liners and uh, a small chunk of those questions were like single liner or ek se dead line ke questions honge uh, the difficulty i faced was uh, and uh, i would recommend to focus more on the lines of the question what they are asking you and what you should be focused on what is the problem like you always tell in your videos to focus on uh, slow down and focus on the question and then go to uh, then i went to the options and options maybe it was quite easy uh, usme questions were more difficult to anticipate the problem and then uh, in options there was always like one or two options to uh easily like uh, an option to escalate to the sponsor or add more resources which you which you want to and overall uh, it was focused on people domain teams uh, i got like uh, uh, 12 13 14 questions maybe just for conflict management and uh, there were questions from stakeholders there was a kind of a hybrid like uh, Uh, a stakeholder is giving you this and you should uh, do that and change requests like uh, mix questions uh, but uh, uh, something that was surprising for me was the i i got like 15 to 17 questions just from hybrid uh, project life cycle hybrid project life cycle yeah so those that life cycle video is no more important predictive iterative incremental agile maybe no no it was it was very uh, very helpful but uh, you know uh, there were a mix of predictive and agile predictive or adaptive and something like that and on uh, I, i found myself always in in a hybrid environment you found yourself so that that's a good thing if you were in the hybrid yeah, environment definitely. yeah you could there were that. there were many 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 questions of uh, when you are changing a predictive approach to the hybrid approach okay when you are moving from a, like when you basically when you are moving from a predictive environment to the hybrid predictive to agile okay. predictive to agile or hybrid okay predictive to agile to hybrid and which which thing was more like there uh, 50% of the exam was which area people process which area was more people domain was focused the most i found people domain focused the most like i would say i got like 55 to even uh, 58 60% question from that domain and process uh, then process and business environment the there were there were very few questions uh, involving uh, business case or benefits management management plan so i would say that that part was pretty pretty less okay okay so let's talk further about this thing okay so uh, any formula question formula question uh, no no formula question just there was only one question from uh, you know cost performance index but that was pretty straight forward any critical path question critical path question no critical critical path question just okay. uh, there was uh, one or two questions to uh, how to expedite uh, which approach is uh, uh, is suitable for the project right now like uh, if you want to opt the crashing or fast tracking or resource leveling something like that okay. uh, so there were there were uh, sorry don't there were five to uh, uh, four five questions or where you select two or more options okay okay Uh, tell me tell me this thing any drag and drop question yeah one question of uh, drag and drop it was 
uh, well i won't say the exactly what the question was it was a power interest grid and you need to drag and drop uh, the options uh, given in the given in the question as per which, their power and interest apart from my coaching calls and those things which mocks you have given i used uh, mainly prepcast mocks and uh, i gave all four mocks were there and uh, then i i used uh, some areas process people and business environment and chose customized questions like 50 questions or 70 questions and uh, then i always do the root cause analysis that why my questions are wrong and gradually uh, my results were improving then i consulted you i, I sent you my uh, my results on the email you gave me go at that you are good to go don't worry about it and take the exam and that was it okay that has been a great thing okay what else you think can uh, can help the students or in other words your final advice to pmp aspirants get pmp certified as soon as possible <laughs> and uh, i would how to, i would say how, how to, to become okay okay, okay. Uh, i think the the good way is not to waste time on re, uh, on remembering books choose uh, the uh, videos that you put on in the internet and uh, some other materials uh, the pmp given guidelines or uh, and then uh, i use those videos mainly the journey videos were uh, stupendous and after that uh, game box do rca always do rca for the questions that you are doing wrong and for the questions that you 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 did right as well mm -hmm. and uh, focus on uh, the things that are very important like in agile predictive to agile how to convert what are the problems and so on okay Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You have given us a good information. If anyone wants to ask any question to Naveed, they can ask. My yeah, I will, I will, I will put my uh, WhatsApp number and email ID in the comments. Anybody can contact me as you so, always taught each one, teach so, one. Each one. So Praveen Raj has an exam next Friday. Praveen, best of luck. You have a one week. Uh, yeah. watch journeys with your coaching calls and do what just uh, Naveed has told. I hope you can easily pass the exam. So Naveed, as I was saying, you already said my line, each one, teach one. The yeah. first thing you need to work on Abdul Wahab. Uh, I was yes. thinking you were, you were with and... him. You need, to, you need to punch him. He's very near to closing the exam, but he keep yeah. on delaying. So you need to work with them. Uh, yeah, he had some problem with the work wise last week, so he couldn't continue. He might have told you that as well. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, let me let me say again a big big shout out to you for a great for being a great mentor to to us for all the great videos and uh, the content out there. And uh, I always got the response uh, whenever I reached out to you on WhatsApp or uh, and uh, or on email. And ये मक्खन नहीं लगा रहा सही कह रहा हूँ नहीं मक्खन की ज़रूरत भी नहीं है people know that क्या है मॉडल्स जी जी सर जी जी सर who else who this thing कि मैंने टुकरिंग लाइन लगाई हुई है अपने ईमेल एड्रेस की या या nobody does that nobody does that and I'm always available because I believe the more you share the world is abundant the more yeah. you share the more it comes back to you and uh, let's work with it thank you very much david best of luck for future endeavors thank you sir thank you bye bye